went thrifting the other day and let me let me actually start with something else first i went thrifting the other day and i've always wanted to get like heels from a thrift store like not kitten heels i don't think these are considered kitten heels but i've always wanted to get just like fun heels from the thrift store i actually was able to find some usually i find like really ugly ones or just not the vibe and not like fun heels but i thrifted these they're like this bright yellow they're pretty short they're not super hard to walk in but they're not as secure because there's nothing holding your heel in but they're really cute they're only five bucks so i got these and then these ones are slightly too big for me but i'm obsessed with the floral pattern and they do have like a um, something to hold your ankle they're tiny bit too big but i think if i can put like a grip right here my feet won't slide forward as much i think they're super cute for summertime or spring though so i got these they were also just five dollars and yeah i'm obsessed i think they're really cute they're not too tall I, most of the heels that i have are pretty tall and you can't really wear those like i don't know you can wear them i've worn them a few times um for different things but i've been kind of into the smaller heel vibe so i got those which is nice so then i don't have to buy like what's going on here but it's nice so that I don't have to spend like $60 on a pair of heels because heels I don't wear as often, obviously. Oh, no, no, I can't. And okay, when I went to the thrift store, I was looking at the book section and a girl that was working was like, oh, all books are free on, on Saturday. Free. And I think she said board games or puzzles are free. So... I got a little book haul to show. There was a lot of books to go through. I was trying to be like responsible, even though they're free, I'm not trying to like get every single book that exists. But I saw they had a copy of Divergent. So I got one because I've never read the book. I've only ever seen the movie. Books are usually better than, books are you all the time will likely be better than the movie. But so I saw this, I was like, might as well get a copy of it so I don't have to ever buy it. And then another book that I've seen the movie of but never read the book for, Fault in Our Stars by John Green. And I feel like this one would be a pretty quick read. I feel like I will cry though, so I don't know if that's a good idea. But I also don't think I really have ever read that many romances. Oh, Bob, what are you doing? Bro, you see this? What is he doing? That's my face pillow. What are you doing? Just lie down. Lie down here. Okay, anyways, I haven't read many romances uh, by male authors. I'm kind of excited to read a romance by a male author. I wonder if it'll be as good, but we'll see. And then I got, no idea if this is gonna be good or not, but I got switched by Amanda Hawking. Oh no, don't try. He's really a menace right now. Go up here. It's the first book I think of a trilogy, and I'm not sure how I feel about it, but it looked interesting. The first sentence of the synopsis, is that what you call it? Says when Wendy Everly was six years old, her mother was convinced she was a monster a monster, and tried to kill her. So I don't know, I was pretty intrigued when it said that. I don't know if I'll like it or not, but. And then I got this, I literally saw this cover and that's, it's giving fall. Like, I loved the cover and it's a like perfect condition. And it's by Ella Montgomery, which is a Canadian author. I have heard about like the last name Montgomery. I'm wondering if this is a children's book. I thought it'd be fun, whatever. And then I got A Summer Affair by Ellen Hildebrand, I think. I'm giving summer romance. Ooh, there's emails. There's like emails. I love when there's like texts or emails in books. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I thought I had heard about this, but I, I think I've heard about this author and not this book specifically. That is all the books that I got. I got five books. That's my little haul. <laughs>
rough, but look how strong those ones are now. They're just like a bit weak right now. Okay, so I just finished planting. These are French marigolds, and then beside them are mint leaves. And I looked up which flowers could go with mint leaves because I didn't need four mint plants. So I got some flowers to go with it so it also would be more colorful. Everyone online was saying marigolds actually work with mint leaves, so I'm hoping that they don't fight with each other for who gets the better soil or the more nutrients. But I looked it up and hopefully they're said to be good uh, to be beside each other, so I hope that works. But yeah, so I have yellow ones and orange marigolds, and then just two of the mint plants for this planter here. And then I never actually talked about the other plants that I showed before. They're looking really nice since I planted them. These are also French marigolds. I forget what this name is, but I will put it up on the screen, but they're just the pink ones. And these ones are doing pretty well too. They're really strong and they look really good. Now we have a new addition over there. <laughs> I really wanted mint leaves because I like making mojitos in the summer and mint leaves from the grocery store will go bad super fast. So I thought why not have like fresh ones right outside. And it's also just pretty. And I just like gardening. I want a greenhouse one day. But yeah, so that's all I have for my planting update right now. And yeah. Hopefully the marigolds and the mint actually plant their roots well because it's always scary when you repot or plant a plant into a different container. I feel like it could go very bad or very good. So I hope they work. Yeah.